Hey, it's Angie. So Ryan and I are at Disneyland California Adventure this morning and we are about to enjoy some vegan shawarma wraps. I think I got the name right. There they are. So interestingly, this is the only breakfast option at the shawarma palace. Yeah, and uh, it's a breakfast wrap, vegan egg, vegan cheese, vegan sausage. Um, I forgot what that sauce is like. And then there's a spicy maple syrup to pour on your shawarma wrap. Yum. Make sure not to get it on yourself. This stuff is, um, it's dangerous business using the sauce. I forgot, there's also some uh, potatoes in here. So here you go, babe. Oh, cool, thank you. Yeah. Can't wait to spend many, 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 many months. I'm put some more stuff on. Oh yeah, see I knew you like I don't that. really call the place the shawarma palace. It's like a little like cart, like a pretzel cart kind of. Yeah. It's an Avengers <laughs> inside joke. <laughs> wow, yeah. Yeah, you happy? You've been talking about this for months. We've been, we've been, yeah, we've been thinking, black fantasizing coffee. about this for, yeah, several <laughs> months. Mm. All right, well enjoy. I'm gonna start eating my shawarma. Yeah, enjoy. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Like I think it's, it's even yummier than I remember. Do not hold your clothes. Ah, ow. I'm okay. Thank goodness it was great. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Take a picture. Look at oh, yeah. In this one. <laughs> All right, let's try it. All right, my first time, our first time ever having this dish, right? Yeah, it's brand new to this restaurant. Hmm. Yeah, not what I consider breakfast, but it's, it's good. Mm. Okay, it's not spicy. I thought it'd be more spicy, like um, looking yeah. at the studio catering truck. It's pretty much. I would say I actually prefer the chili I know they had the last couple years, but it's a solid option, I guess. Okay, okay, we're moving off. <laughs> Looking good. As long as there's no spinning, I'm sure everything will be totally okay. <laughs> Ryan and I are headed to the adorable snowman frosted treat stand on Pixar Pier to cool off on this warm day. So this is the mango. It's basically the same thing as Dole Whip but not pineapple. It's mango. Mmm, it's so refreshing. Alright. Let's go go with master. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. It's refreshing. How's it compared to your fame? Well, you know, it's not dull if it's good. It's dull. It is? Uh, yeah. It's just the mango flavor. Oh, it's not dull. You know, it's kind of.
Sometimes we like to hang out at the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, especially if I'm enjoying a vegan latte or some cold brew. Or uh, maybe we'll bring our snack over there because it's a pretty chill area. Grand California Hotel opens right up into DCA and you can actually go there to eat. Hey, so we are at the Craftsman Bar and Grill at the Disneyland Park and we're about to try something brand new that we heard about from Happy Speaking on Earth. Here we are. This is the poorest mushroom impossible sausage pizza minus the cheese. Sweat. All right, seven bye. Mm. Wow, we don't like this. I'm gonna like it. Mm, it's different from any pizza I can think of. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a mushroom spread instead of a tomato sauce, so that would make it quite different. All right, here we go. Mmm. That is really good. It's good, huh? Mmm. Highly recommend. The most famous Disneyland cat has got to be Francisco, uh, who lives actually right across from where we're just dining in the, uh, the nature area around the Grizzly River Run ride. Um, we've spotted them pretty much always on the left hand side of the ride both in the daytime as seen here and after dark and um, I've actually gotten to pet them twice and Ryan had a really good petting session uh, once as well so uh, if you come to the park take a look Okay, so we've picked up some uh, food from the plant-based menus at the Lucky Fortune Cookery and the Pacific Wharf Cafe and brought it over to Carsland to enjoy. Uh, this is the Asian tofu salad. Here we go. And Ryan's uh, chopping on the kids impossible bon me <laughs> meal. <laughs> I find the Asian tofu salad to be a nice, light, healthier option uh, for lunch, especially on a nice warm day like this one. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There they go! Wow! There are a couple over there. Aww, a couple of the babies. The fast number. Okay, bye. Thank you. Well, there's still a baby left behind. There's one back there farther too. Oh, it's so fluffy. Canadian geese, no less. I think they're goslings, actually. Hey, ducks. Hi, guys. That's cute. Oh, he's got a little, a little crack. Hi. Can you drink some water now? She's drinking water. Oh, she has to wash down the crackers. They're sweet. Ducks. I can't believe that some people want to eat you, you know? Look at the pretty guy. You guys are beautiful animals. Sentient beings. Yeah, they have a plan right now. They have plans, sure. feelings. Oh, look at that purple feather in the yeah, back. Yeah, she's very special. I like this talk. <laughs> Here we go. This is the Impossible Burger as a lamb lighter with some pineapple cheddar cheese, some steak fries, and a vegan red wine. And a dump going high. Yum. It's so shocking. And this is the veganized version of their Brussels sprouts, which Molly says is about half the size it normally is. So, <laughs> Hey, we are at 
Kim's Test Kitchen here in uh, Vendors Campus at DCA to try the Impossible Spoonful. Here we are, it smells pretty good. One giant impossible meatball, a tiny fork, and a bowl full of plant-based marinara with a plant-based cheese. This fork is so funny. The whole shtick of this restaurant is that things you think are gonna be small or big and vice versa. We try to get it, oh my God, this bite is huge. Ah, I see there's two different styles of pasta in here. It's pretty tasty. As far as pasta goes, ain't bad. It's funny how Disney thinks if you're vegan, you have to have Impossible. I know. Yeah, I don't eat Impossible too often. I guess only when I come to Disneyland. It's not, yeah, it's not bad at all. It's pretty good. We've had the children's meal before, which has a smaller portion of this. It comes with a mandarin that was not ripe and some uh, yogurt that was not sweet, a plant-based yogurt. So I think this is much better deal. Hey, I'm at Disneyland California Adventure in the Hollywood Studios area outside of the studio catering truck. You can just barely see it there. I'm going to be getting the plant-based al pastor loaded potato. Oh my goodness, here it is. All right, let's see this bad boy. We had it once before, but it was quite a while ago. Ryan thinks. It's pretty nice. I, don't, I really can't remember when we got this last. You do, but. So my, long ago. I, 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 it's, so it's, for me, it's kind of like a new dish. Yeah, not bad. Ooh. Oh, it's because of my wrap. Sorry, it's so dark over here. Here's my bite. Mm. It's pretty darn good. So, since Ryan insisted he did not remember having this potato before, I thought I'd just flash back to this reel I had made earlier in the year. Oh, it was harder than it looks. Ah, so hard. This is one of my earliest reels and I was setting it to music. That's why it's so quiet. Uh, Alright, big crazy bite I see. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nice and spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's our hot tip. For a wonderful dining experience, you can take uh, your food over to the backside of the Silly Symphony Swings and watch the wonderful world of color from over there. It's really private. Uh, there's a lot of reverb and you can't see the show in its entirety, but I think it still looks pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Come 
and we like to eat over at the Silly Symphony Swings because as soon as Wonderful World the color is over, we go run it over to Emotional Whirlwind and we ride it like three times in a row. <laughs> and then we get kicked out of the park more or less. So that is uh, all the vegan food that we have enjoyed in 2022 over at Disneyland's California Adventure Park. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Take care. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe.